Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is going to be a great episode of concealer haul. And why do I say concealer haul? Because I ordered several items from Sephora and they had a code and one of the choosing was a lot of concealer samples. And so I got it and oh my God, there are many. So I decided to do a haul on them. So if you're interested on what I got, please keep on watching. Now, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell in the right hand corner so you know when I upload new messages. I mean, new videos. One of those days today. <laughs> Anyhow, also I am about to try the Charlotte Tilbury new uh, powder, airbrush flawless finish powder. Why? Because I got this uh, small sample. It has four items. This is the lightest, which is the one for me. And if you notice, I've been a little bit under the sun, under the weather, a little bit shine. I'll tell you what I have on. So I thought, why don't I, I was gonna apply this before coming into camera. However, I thought, why don't I do it together so you see the difference that it makes and how it kind of blends everything together, etc. And that way I actually test it out. I'm looking for a, a good brush to do this with. This would be a good test to see if it really works or not. Of course, the Sonia G brush that I'm looking for is not here. It's one of those days, guys. Um, all right, I'll just use another one, right? Uh, I was looking for the blurring brush, the one that choo 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 is lovely. It works beautiful to blur, which is what I'm trying to do, and to bring down a little bit of the color because I just tried the Patrick Ta uh, blush and the lighting was different because of what was coming through the window so I had to really enhance it so it would translate on camera and now it looks too bold so this is why I wanted to put a little powder and of course now I'm rambling but let's do it so fair pale of course I own the airbrush flawless finish powder uh, but this is a new one and so complexion perfecting micro powder. So let's see, let's see if it works out. Let's see if it becomes something I like or it will be worth ordering. I'm trying to open it here and um, yeah. It's one of those days that I feel like a little bit clouncy. <laughs> I mean, it's not, I would say it's not really my personality uh, because I don't necessarily think that is who I am inside, but that's how I always end up coming through. So, okay, so there's the powder. You see it, right? Okay. And so for the outside world, it will look as if that is who I am, the clumsiness. But when I'm by myself, don't think I think, oh, haha, ha, I'm so clumsy and funny. No. <laughs> I just have to play it because I appear clumsy. All right, so there's powder, no powder. I do see a difference. I definitely see a blurring. All right, so let's do the other side. There's not a lot of powder here. I mean, look, of course I already hit pan. <laughs> it's just a sample, it's just a sample. But you do see it does it does pick it up, you see there? And then look how this ended. That's it, no more. So I'm gonna do it the other side. You see without, and you'll see, that's gonna look pretty nice after. Wow. All right, so in first impressions of this powder, I like it better than the previous one. It is a lot less uh, noticeable and heavy because the other one, I immediately felt it powdery and I immediately felt it on top of my skin. This is really, you barely, I don't feel it actually, not barely feel it and it did blur. Look at that. Oh, wow. I'm interested on in this powder. You know what? I wish they had sent a little more 
because now I want to try it without any makeup on and just see it bare skin. But I can't do that. I guess I'll try one of the other colors when I take all my makeup off. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it made a difference. Oh my God. I do like it, guys. I am impressed. I'm definitely impressed. Mm -hmm. It made a whole difference of my look. And also in how I feel about my look. Because I was feeling a little like, uh. So what did it do? It blurred, it highlighted, because it didn't mattify necessarily, but it did take that kind of extra glowiness. I wouldn't say shine, but it was starting to look like that kind of annoyingly too much. And wow. Okay. Well, surprisingly, this is a winner for sure. I'm talking about the new powder from Charlotte Tilbury. So most likely I will order it. It's a lot lighter than the Chantikai. It feels very different even in the look than the Dior, which has been my favorite. I'm talking about the Chantikai, this one, the light medium flower power, perfect blur finishing powder, which is a super winner. I'm liking the Charlotte Tilbury better. Wow. Surprising. Hmm. All right. Well, that was a surprise. I was not even going to do that in this video. Now I did. And we discover something together. All right. So to why we're here, which is the concealer haul. I'm just going to show you what I got. I got so many products. So this is why I, I show you a lot of things that I samples because they're trendy. They're new. They're here. And, um, and they're worthwhile. So just uh, a few mentions before we get to that. I should say this at the end, but it's only three items, so bear with me. So we have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Multi-Purpose Glow Concealer. So I will be sampling this in the future. Um, I got 100 points and I exchanged it by Augustine Bader, the serum. This is a ooh, big time favorite winner. So many great things about this Augustine Bader. Um, they work together with Victoria Beckham. So the Victoria Beckham serum is also very with this. And also Augustine Bader, uh, Augustine Bader has uh, what is called the cream, which is supposed to be also a big time winner uh, across you know favorites ac across people. Uh, not just in YouTube, in general, highly, highly recommended. I tried uh, because I bought the Victoria Beckham one, which is in combination with him, and I did not fell in love with it. I feel it does renovate my skin, but I feel it looks a little drier over time. So I like my Mila Morsi. If you've seen my skin regimen, that's what I use uh, better. And, but of course I keep trying because I keep hearing so many great things. And so I wanted to try this serum and this is what I'm doing, right? So I just ordered this. I will be trying it. You can uh, see what I come up with. I also ordered the JLo Glow sample. Uh, I chose this because... I haven't heard, I haven't tried anything about JLo. I haven't heard great things about it, but that's not fair because there's so much that has come out and so many other actresses or singers or, you know, that have come up with their own brand. And so it kind of is in the mix, but I wanted to try it. So I wish I had the whole regimen and try them all together. Uh, but since they just had this one as a sample, I did choose it. And so this is in a multitasking serum. So another serum, tightening, brightening, and hydrate. So we will see. My main concern, of course I like tightening, of course I like all of that beautiful thing, but what I want the most is hydrating. That's what I care the most about my serums. And last, there was this Nest Fragrance Moroccan Amber Scent Stick. So this is kind of an incense. So I'm very looking forward to burning this up. I will let you know. Remember, this is a haul. I'm just going to show you all these things that I will be trying and giving you my reviews. And please make sure to let me know if you see something that really interests you. I'll do that review first. So what do I have? It was this bag. 
but it's full of great items. You'll see, I was very surprised of all the items. So one, the first is Dior Backstage. Uh, this is sort of the perfect concealer. This is known, and there's eight colors. Wow, this is pretty good. So obviously I'm only gonna use one. Uh, probably give some of my family members the other one. So this one is supposed to be concealer, but also kind of spot conceal and also kind of use a little bit throughout. So you don't need foundation. It's one of those items. Uh, it reminds me also the, the one I just tried, Rose Ink, that is kind of concealing, but also spot concealer. And so it ends up kind of being uh, instead of foundation altogether. Um, I've tried this before. It wasn't my favorite. Uh, I thought it dried a little bit. I know it's a lot of other YouTube favorites, but it wasn't mine. Um, so I'm willing to try it again. However, I did give mine, because I bought the full size of this, um, I give mine to my sister. My sister's 25 years younger than me, so she's in her 20s, late 20s. And oh my God, it looked amazing on her, much better than anything that she was wearing. So. It is a great one. It just didn't totally work for me. So I'm willing to give it a second try. That's what I'm gonna say. All right, let me move it along. So I got Hydro Base Adjurant. This is milk, a primer. Okay, so this is a double dose of Hydrate Skin and Grip Makeup. So primer milk, I will be trying. That's exciting. Uh, if you notice a couple of videos before I try this Smashback, uh, photo primer on this side of my face. Um, I haven't really noticed a huge difference in real life nor in the videos. Uh, perhaps it has even gotten too glowy, you know, that kind of too much, almost oily looking. So, so far I can't say great things about it, but we'll see this milk one. All right, next. Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Rating Concealer. Oh, great. So it comes very little amount, but a lot of colors. That's great. I, um, I have heard, mm, people are not in love with this product, but I've heard that it really highlights and brightens up. So I'm very curious about it. Um, but it hasn't been a complete favorite based on the reviews I've seen. I'm sure being Charlotte Tilbury is gonna be a great product. You know, overall, we just get too peaky because we are collectors and YouTubers. But uh, but that's what I've heard. So I'm very curious about this one. There's Rare Beauty. I have tried this with you before. I think this is a, a great product. All Rare Beauty. I mean, especially the liquid eyeliner, which I haven't bought for a while, but it was my favorite. And I haven't bought it because I have so many and I don't eyeline. <laughs> liquid eye line my eye that often but rare beauty has some very big time winner products uh this one was very very good unfortunately you know i thought kosas was a little more hydrating and uh, so i like that now i'm really looking into the rose ink i really have liked that one uh, i have rose ink on this side and i have kosas on this side just so you know so, because I was comparing it, you can see that video. Um, but it was still very, very good. It's just not my number one, but maybe number three or so. I mean, I should do a concealer, maybe after all of this samples, right? So still very good. And I did buy the um, Rare Beauty Primer, Eye Primer, that is amazing, so. Again, it has great products, so maybe not number one, but pretty pretty consistent for the price. Uh, I have here Dior Backstage 001 Universal Face and Body Primer. I have tried this on my channel before, but here's another sample. These are very cute because it comes a full bottle. And so this is why I haven't bought my full bottle because I have gathered a couple of this one, so that's great. Great primer. I like a combination with the actual uh, foundation, which is also the backstage. That's the backstage, your backstage um, line. All right, we have Pat McGrath um, concealer. I own this a full size. Love, 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 love. 
This will be my number one concealer if I'm doing a full makeup look. I don't know why I don't necessarily use this every day. Uh, it's not like a natural look and probably not the healthiest, cleanest one, but it is the one that looks amazing and the best. So I do own it for those times that I really want mm, makeup to look super good and it lasts long. I mean, it's gorgeous. That concealer is number one in my eyes for a full makeup, nice looking concealer. Uh, we have Tarte C. Wow. Okay. Water and sweat proof. 15 hour crease proof. Very curious about this. Um, we know Tarte has had great concealers. Uh, for more younger population. So I used to wear when I was younger, I'm talking like a decade before. And so I curious about this one. All right. Then we have um, Huda Beauty. Okay, concealer, three shades. And um, I have no idea about this one. So I'm gonna be happy to try that up. Uh, we have Ilia. Uh, I don't remember if I tried this with you guys before. So obviously not memorable if I have, and if not, I'm very curious to try it. Great, uh, clean beauty, sort of my alley kind of thing. I might have tried it because I still decided for Kosas, but maybe I try other things and not the actual concealer. So we'll be trying that. Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. All right, so this is also a good one. I think I tried this with you before. Uh, again, great ones. Just like I said, I have my other favorites, but great ones. I might try this again with you all if you want it. Let me know. Again, let me know of all the things I'm bringing out, which ones you're interested in seeing. And I'll do that first. Because if not, some of them just get lost on a pile of samples that I have. So this is Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. All right. Uh, probably this is a great cover one. Anastasia is not my favorite in the sense of how it feels and probably for my age group, younger generations, I think it's great. And I'm talking in the overall, these are all great established um, companies, which probably will work great for everybody if you end up having it. So again, extra picky on just the ranking of what would I prefer. And since I have so much, I tend to use what I prefer, right? But uh, yeah, I don't remember loving this in the sense of hydrating. But hey, I'm looking forward to try that out. And of course, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm glad I got this. It's very small samples. You know, there's one that you open it and probably it's one eye, perhaps both. <laughs> but this is a favorite, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So yes, I'm looking forward. I might even have a full old, older concealer, full size. Uh, I don't. I don't pull it out that much anymore, so I don't even know where it is, but I'm looking forward to trying this. Okay, am I getting hot again? <laughs> um, I don't know if you can tell, I mean, I have many things already on, but this side has the Smashbox primer on, and this side doesn't. Of course, after that, I use the HD foundation, and now, and then the Patrick Ta blushes, and then, as the beginning of this video, the Charlotte Tilbury powder. So too many things to perhaps notice, but do you see what I mean? I think this side is glowier. Does that make sense? Like it's really some light showing through, but in the fence of looking kind of too much or oily, like I feel too, I need to powder that again. You see that? It's not, here is a little bit, yes, but not as much as this. And I think that is the, the primer. Where is it? The small uh, Smashbox photo, whatever, this one. So I know it's not going to be my favorite primer. I try this. So just FYI, yeah. Perhaps if you are very, very dry or very, very matte dull, 
this will really bring you up. I know back on the day, I used to use a smudge pack photo thing um, and it will really help me. I don't think my skin in this moment is about that. And you see me doing this because I get hot flashes and you can tell. <laughs> my husband says, what's going on? I even see the sweat coming out. I'm like, I'm going through fire. That's what's happening. And I'm steaming. <laughs> All right, well, thankfully, the bag is empty from Sephora, so there goes the haul. Let me look at the time because um, very, very rapid fire. Uh, I'm going to share with you other samples I got. This is from a dozen, another store, but just in case you're interested. So I have the Rosebud Woman Honor Everyday Balm. Oh my God, I don't remember what is this, but I think this is for the, uh, is it vaginal? Um, everyday bomb. I don't think this was for the lips. I better research it again. I think it was from the downstairs lips. Yeah, something like that because it's rosebud woman. I was, I'm thankfully because I don't Google everything. I would have think this is a lip balm, but for some reason I went and Google it and I think it's for, um, for female kind of lip down there, bomb. I would not be putting this on. I would not be trying that. However, isn't that interesting that they send me that kind of a sample? All right, well, that's one way to do it, right? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna try it, I'm sorry. But I did get very nice, uh, these are mostly scents. I'm just gonna go, it's like six of them very quickly. So I have here, Boreberry Hero. I have here, I'm dying to try this on. I think I'm gonna try it next in a video. This is Narciso Rodriguez for her. I've heard great things about it, and if I remember correctly, I used to love this as well. Never have bought the full bottle, but I have loved that scent. Boreberry Her. Daisy Mark Jacobs, I have smelled this before. Definitely not Walmi, but uh, it's not very niche, but this one I'm excited about. Oh, this is a great one. I think I bought this, yeah. Aqua Allegoria Mandarin Basilic. I think I did a review on this. I did buy the full bottle. I like this one. It's very citrusy, activating, uh, very if you're in a bad mood or in a bad day or just to want the whole air to kind of activate and clean. This is very lovely, very Mandarin-like. Mandarin Basilic, that's what it is. Very strong Mandarin smell. So. Uh, I really like this. We'll try it again. I'll check if I've done the review. If not, I'll do one. Issey Miyaki, a drop of DLC. I'm very excited about this because if you've been with me, you know my favorite fragrance is Issey Miyaki, but not this one. It's, uh, oh my God, I'm bad with names, but Issey Miyaki, yes. You can, check, you can check my reviews. I only done that one and it's my favorite, my number one. And so I was excited uh, about smelling this. They changed the bottle. This is a Drop DC. Now they're making this round bottle, you see it? So I'm curious to try it, but I really like the bottle that it used to be. It was inspired by the Tuffle tire, a tower with the moon on the top. I really like it, but apparently they're changing it. I guess it's easier to travel with, it's more practical, and things I guess have to change, right? Uh, I don't know if I'm in love with it though, but uh, all right, there you go. We'll see how the scent is. And last is this Lancome HCF Triple Serum. All right, well, there's a Triple Serum. One, two, and three, I guess there's a regim with it. Oh, I'm curious about this. So yeah, I guess I'll try this. I'll read the instructions and let you know. So that's it for today. If you see anything, that I mentioned that you are interested in looking right away, let me know and I'll do that review first. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell on the right hand corner and comment down below anything you wanna share with me. I appreciate it. If you wanna see what I have on my face, I'll link the videos down below. Thank you, bye.